Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install MX Linux. This video is in two parts. The first part shows you how to create the MX Linux bootable USB drive. I have already shown you this in a previous video. So if you've already followed along with that video and have a bootable MX Linux USB drive, skip to the five minute 50 marker, and then you'll see the installation steps for actually installing it to your computer. The first thing you need to do is open a web browser and within Google search for MX Linux. You're looking for the site with the uh, web address https colon forward slash forward slash mxlinux.org and the title will be MX Linux uh, Midway Simple Stable Desktop OS. Click on the link when you see it. The web page describes MX Linux as a cooperative venture between the anti X and MX Linux communities. It is a family of operating systems that are designed to combine elegant and efficient desktops with high stability and solid performance. MX's graphical tools provide an easy way to do a variety of tasks. While the live USB and snapshot tools inherit from Antiax add impressive portability and remastering capabilities. Extensive support is available through videos, documentation and a friendly forum. There are three versions of MX Linux available. There's the XFCE, KDE, and Fluxbox versions um, with those desktops included. Click on the download link at the top of the web page to download the version of MX Linux that you wish to install to a USB drive. You will see that the three versions are available. There's uh, XFCE, KDE, and uh, Fluxbox. What you will also see is that for XFCE, uh, there is the X64 version, which is for six. 64 bit, there is the 386 version for 32 bit, and there's the AHS version for advanced hardware support, which is basically the same as the um, x64 version but uh, with a newer version of the kernel. For the purposes of this demo, I'm choosing the AHS version uh, because when I install it on my computer, I will need the newer kernel uh, for the updated Wi Fi drivers that will be available for my machine. Uh, but feel free to choose any version uh, that you so choose. You will now be redirected to another site called SourceForge, which will start a countdown timer and start downloading the version of MX Linux that you have chosen. The ISO image for MX Linux will now start to download. We can now move on to the next step, which is to download Etcher, which will enable you to burn the MX Linux ISO to the USB drive. In the address bar, type etcher.io, that's E-T-C-H-E-R dot I-O. When the Etcher website loads, click on the download link. Uh, four versions will become available. Uh, there's the installed version, which you will install to your computer for Windows. There's a portable version, which you can install to a USB drive. Uh, there is the macOS version, if you are using macOS, or there's the Linux version, if you are using uh, another version of Linux. Uh, click on the appropriate download link for your computer. Uh, in this case, I'm using Windows 11, so I'm choosing the Windows link. Uh, when you assure the uh, ISO image is finished downloading and Etch is finished downloading, open Windows Explorer and then navigate to your Downloads folder. Double click on the item that says Belina Etcher Setup. When the Belina Etcher License Agreement screen appears, click I Agree. It is worth noting that at this stage, the installer may actually minimize itself so you don't see it. But if you look along your uh, Windows taskbar, there is an icon for Belina Etcher Setup. And if you click it, you'll see the progress bar as you'll see on my screen. Uh, when Etcher has finished installing, an icon will appear on the desktop. Uh, you can just double click on that icon and Etcher will load. At this point, you need to insert a blank USB drive into your computer or a USB drive that has data that you don't need anymore. Uh, Etcher will wipe the drive in order to install MX Linux to it. Click on the flash from file uh, button and then from the downloads folder, select the MX Linux ISO that you downloaded previously. Click the select target button and choose the USB drive that you wish to install MX Linux to. Click the flash button and Etcher will write MX Linux to the USB drive that you have selected. This is a two stage process. The first stage flashes the image to the USB drive and the second stage validates that the image has been written correctly to the USB drive. Uh, the actual process takes quite a while so you can uh, go away, get yourself a drink, come back in about 15 to 20 minutes and then the process should be complete. 
It is worth noting that Etcher can be used to create USB drives from many different uh, Linux distributions. If you can just find the download link for the uh, ISO that you want to install to the USB drive, then you can install that version of Linux using Etcher in most cases. A message will appear saying that the flash is complete and you can now use your MX Linux USB drive. All you have to do is reboot your computer and before the computer boots up, press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu and then choose the USB drive that you want to use and then a grub menu will appear and you should be able to use MX Linux. When MX Linux is booted, you can either click the installer icon on the desktop or you can click the install MX Linux icon in the welcome screen. An integrity check will begin, which will check the integrity of your installation media. You can skip this step if you so wish by clicking the escape key. You can now choose your keyboard layout. As you can see in the example above, I'm removing the US English and adding UK English. Uh, you could also change the keyboard model um, to represent the number of keys on your keyboard, etc. You can now choose the disk that you're going to install MX Linux to. Um, in my case, I'm going to choose to install using the entire disk. Note that this will wipe all the data on the disk, so you should make a backup before you begin. At this point, the installation will begin, but you can actually change some other settings as you go along. So to start off with, we're going to give the computer a name. Um, you can choose the domain that the computer is on. You can choose whether to install Samba so that you've got Microsoft networking, and then you can choose the work group uh, on the network that the computer will belong to. The next stage is to choose the locale. Uh, this basically choose where you are in the world. Uh, you can then configure the clock by choosing the correct time zone. Um, so you choose the continent that you're on and then the city uh, that's closest to your timeline. And you can change the format of the time as well. Following on from that, you can then create your user, uh, enter a username, uh, give yourself a password, confirm the password. And then if you want to give a different root password, uh, check the root box and then give a root password and confirm that password. You can choose to automatically log in and you can also choose to save live desktop changes. Now it's just a case of waiting for the installation to complete. Uh, there's a file copy process, it will install Grub, it will do some integrity checks and then uh, the installation will complete. The installation process can take some time to complete, so take the opportunity to go and get a drink and then come back a short while later and the installation should be done and you should be able to reboot your computer and start using MX Linux. In the video above, you'll see that I'm using a virtual machine for this bit um, just so that I can show you the login screen, but essentially you'll get a login screen similar to the one um, and you can just enter your username and password that is the end of the video. In a forthcoming video, I will be showing you all the features of MX Linux and providing a full everyday Linux user review. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos from everyday Linux user.